any adjustments to the agenda? Uh, schedule retreat, uh, retreat, um, sort of, what do you call that? Agenda. Agenda, thank you. Okay. Add so that to, we could add it to schedule okay. retreat and agenda. Uh, just so I know, I also talked, I, well, we can get Isn't to that. that. Yeah. yeah, so would it, would it just be like, it's in addition to schedule retreat? I think we just added in to okay. schedule, schedule retreat, retreat and agenda. Slash, slash oh, agenda. Oh, agenda. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yep. Oh. I see what you're saying. Sure. It's all part of the same topic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Do you have to approve this? I would like to add to discussion items the search for a new treasurer. Hmm. Of course, you're coming here with some solutions, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> no? No. Any other adjustments to the agenda? All right. Do we have any public comments? Oh, okay. uh, we have public comment at the beginning? Yes. I know. I was my first question was, are you going to make public comments? <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, my one comment is related to the approval of the minutes on uh, June 4th. Uh, I don't know if you want to get there, but I have noticed quite a few things on June 4th. Um, so I don't know. Um, probably want to wait till we approve them. I don't know. Well, that's How's right. it, how, how the logistics of it work? Well, you, you motion to approve, and okay. there should be discussion. Why don't you say your Can point now, yeah. okay. and then we'll bring yeah. it. Yeah. Thank well, you. I need help yeah. with that sure. already. That's <laughs> being discussed right now, what I should do. That's it. Yeah, I, I was saying, when there's a, you'll have discussion after you make a motion to approve, yeah. then there's discussion, yep. then, okay. then and you can make your comment comments. At that yeah. time. Okay. Okay. And if they're happy with those comments, they can amend it based on what okay. you're asking. All right, great. Do and you're not going to have to wait long. Um, I'll wait till we're not. <laughs> okay, great. Then, um, we move on to the consent agenda. And I'm um, looking for a motion to approve the minutes of May 28th. Meeting? I make a motion to approve the minutes for May 28th. Aye. Aye. Um, motion to approve the minutes of June 4th meeting. So we'll, so there's we'll move it, second move it, it second and then, it, then, then, then discuss, discuss it. it. Right. Yep. Okay. Before you vote right. on it. Okay. So I move And if there is discussion, you'll need to ostensibly um, you know, move that we call the question, you know, and vote on it. Okay. So and we're looking for a motion to approve the minutes of June. So moved. Seconded. Any discussion? Yeah, you for Correct. Yep. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, yes, on the June 4th meeting, I would like to encourage that ORCA is considered where, where, are you? where are you? Mm -hmm. oh, at the very beginning, number one, uh, okay. Orca was not included, and neither was I. Okay. Um, and also, moving to 4.10, 4 uh, I would think that Orca should be included in that. 4.10. Are you a newspaper? Um, we had to designate. designate it. Well, you're designated in the media service, so well, maybe we need to change well. it. No, I'm just saying, maybe it's instead of media outlets, instead of newspaper and radio, we need to start saying media outlets and then list them. That's yeah, I think that makes sense now yeah, that, that media is more than just yeah, yeah. Right. and that way then right. that would be in there, so designate is media. Is this something, though, this reorganization, is this um, oh, 
to like a state statute state statute special for like way okay. no we've gotten into a habit of just doing it this way and yeah we can add so we or, can, okay yeah. i uh and so one of the reasons for that is because the newspaper report you know didn't include you know that orca was even there so consequently people it didn't help people from even knowing that they could go gotcha. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know because it was taken from the draft minutes right i think it makes sense to add um a media outlet that's made yeah. media outlets mm -hmm. um, and i'm not sure though how we would if at right at this point in the meeting we can Designate a media outlet. Mm -hmm. No, you know all the amendments that you're discussed. Okay. So at some point, somebody's going to have to make a motion to include mm -hmm. these amendments. Correct. We're amending the minutes, but mm -hmm. we're amending. We're also so we don't adding to the minutes. We actually don't want to. I don't think we want to change the minutes because right. we want to approve the minutes as a record of what happened that di day. Correct. And right. what we want to maybe right. add is in our in our um, agenda today is that action items, I don't know, 8.2, change listings of media of, you know, to media outlets, something like that. Yeah. So that then when we get there, we'll, we'll then say, from now on, we're designating mm -hmm. media mm -hmm. outlets mm -hmm. and include ORCA in that. Is that... Oh, oh, does that but take care of it? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that I think. I mean, it's you're absolutely right, and and uh, and it also hopefully this will take care of the thing because it should be in the news article that Orca was there so that people know that they can watch. Right. That that should be instructed. Does that forward. commit um, Orca to be at every one of our meetings? Then? I think. Uh, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, Orca is committed uh, for select board meetings and this. Yeah. Yes. Now, mm -hmm. we're not your minutes, right. so if no, somehow no, no, no. we mess up and miss one, we're not your official right, no, minutes. It's, it's no, 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 but it's just that it's a little different. One, one we're sending out announcements to, Orca is coming in to film. Mm -hmm. We don't send announcements out to Orca unless they're at a meeting, mm -hmm. right? Right. Mm -hmm. So it's a little, media outlets is probably the right term because it's a little different. One seems to be we're aggressively mm -hmm. putting stuff out there. The other is kind of a passive. They're doing this as a service. Mm -hmm. so it's just a little different. I, I don't mm -hmm. It's just as it says, designate newspaper and radio station for official notices. So it's, um, have we at any time, I don't remember, um, uh, designated? to be our thing we have they just we yeah. just volunteer so to show up it's they, right so i see i get your point that it's it's different than what those designations are then maybe what we're designating is that we want every every time we put a news outlet it should say and the meeting is on orca if they were there for that meeting that's too confusing yeah, I think uh, I think that even because I, I don't. No, it's I, different. I, I think I think get we add a notice at the bottom of the minutes, maybe say this meeting is also available here. Well, it should. I, yeah, I would say that it should be somewhere on the minutes that it was videoed. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if uh, I noticed you saw that you weren't in the right. call to order. You know, in the minutes, it doesn't say call to order in the June 4th. It doesn't say Midler. in attendance, school board members, Carl Grop, up the administrative committee, Stetson, and Orca Media right, should be there so that everybody and, knows. And as a public member. Yes, and there's a way that yeah, yeah, there's yeah. two separate. Yep, yep. So yep. the question, though, is about designating. Yeah, so I don't think we do want to designate. Right. I don't think, I think it's, it's a matter of getting the information out. And I think it needs to be part of the minutes and a call to order that ORCA is present yeah. whenever we do a call to order. Okay, and or, and Mason sense. Wade is, is present. Yeah. So well, I don't know if we need to designate that, but it's we should put it in the minutes, and obviously it would be in these minutes. Right. Um, um, I, I would see, like Bruce is saying, this is um, ORCA coming in yeah. and providing us a service. And if we, in the future, were looking to get uh, official notices out 
then we would might we might want to designate a so a another type of media to get our messages well, out. And at that time we'd want to designate maybe uh, form for form as our designated place that we're going to get these official messages out. Yeah. You know, like like the newspaper. Where what is the other media outlets we're gonna use mm -hmm. to get stuff out? I think it's yeah. good to the, the name change, I, I agree with what you're saying about all control to order, I think I'm making sense. Um, but I think it's good to change the name anyway, because it, it is going to be more social media. It is going to be the Stockbridge mm -hmm. Connection and the Facebook, yeah. stuff like that. We're, we're, we're talking about more than just yeah. the traditional. And we will, we will mm -hmm. advertise or send out something to those. So I think this is mm -hmm. a more up-to-date kind of designation anyway. So, in our reorganization, so there's two things we're talking about, it sounds like. Right. We're talking about always making note when ORCA mm -hmm. is present and whether it's you or Desmond, so. you know, that they are present as members at the meeting. And I don't know if we have to designate that, but, um, right, I'd, uh, because but the, the other one is. Coming in, but it, no, I'm just saying whether we need to say that all the court call to orders need to include. Mm -hmm. Video, yeah. Yeah. video, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I don't know. Do we just we, can have it we just say yeah. here with and for two, right? Call cord to orders. Um, so that should be in an action item. Then um, we want to put that eight point two because we, we're at, we're still in approving the minutes of Tuesday, June fourth. We just want to get that done now that we're so. So yeah. instead, so I had, I had a eight, eight point two is, is to. Um, <coughs> set up what should always be included in the yeah in the reorganization change reorganization and 8.3 would be change rules of call to order does that make sense mm -hmm. well there it's, a it's the not really call to really order action is it just something that you is there a yeah. contact address for work up the way you really could put at the bottom of your agendas? Recording attendance properly. Yeah, well, it's oh, just, it's just is, yeah. it's making sure that whoever does it yeah. attend, yeah. makes yeah. that note so the public yeah. doesn't yeah. see yeah. 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 it. Cool. So, do you have something else yes. to say about the minutes? Yes. Um, 4B, which is public comment. Um, or B. B. Or public comment. Yes, somewhere. actually, I had waited at that time and I was under other. And during other, the conversation was quite lengthy and you know, even speaking about transparency, uh, it seemed like that was a pretty big statement. Uh, others is kind of blank. But when it comes to 4B, uh, it's, I have a hard time understanding what was written. Uh, it's referring to electric tools. That wasn't what I was talking about. I was talking about the electric tool usage in landscaping uh, of the school properties. You know, so when you read this, you have no idea what is going on in the conversation. So um, later tonight in public comment, I will go back to that because I have found out some interesting new information. In that, in our history, of our usage. So you want, just so we stay on the topic of the of the agenda, because we're just approving agenda right uh, now. I, Do you want I'm us to change? I'm just making a comment that I had waited at that time and went through lengthy to this section of other at the time. Because mm -hmm. I don't even think we had public comments back <laughs> in the last meeting. <laughs> yeah, it was added. Well, it was, whatever. Yeah, it was if you kind of remember the last meeting, it was right. at the very end yeah. of the because meeting of the under other. There was yeah. It was the agenda wasn't really um, as clear. It didn't mm -hmm. have all mm -hmm. normal things in it. Yeah. The, the so what what do you want right what? now as far as the agenda? Do you want it to minutes. reflect no, the minutes? I'm just hoping in the future there, there can be a more detail. I mean, I don't find that 4B really explains mm -hmm. what was talked about. And I even went further to even explore. Uh, I mean, there was, there was this, uh, actually, if you watch Orca, <laughs> During that section, you could probably <laughs> regain the conversation. But no, I definitely understand. Um, we, uh, you know, the minutes are to be as um, have all the inf pertinent information in it, but not to actually really word for word the entire right. meeting right. because it, right. you know. So but it has to be 
comprehensible to right. what we're doing. Okay, okay. I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. So I move that we call the question of approving the minutes. So and then as so moved. moved. Yeah, you can, you can just do it. Yeah, all in favor? Aye. 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 And now we approve the minutes. Okay. As now we now we uh, we mm, are looking for a motion to approve the minutes with the addition. We already have. It's already um, been moved. All we have to do is just you, vote so on it with um, the the addition to the um, attachments oh. of Orca Media and Miss Wood. Oh uh, yeah, that isn't actually one. Oh, I see. Yes, We're going to add that into that. There was yes, a, there was gotcha. a uh, yes. Yep, gotcha. There was a modification yep. to the minutes. Okay. Great. Um, what? Mm. Um. No. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Just surprised. Um, no. That was um. my comment. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just question for um, Benny. Are you still needing to uh, make sure we get as far as possible tonight? I do need to leave, get home around eight. Okay. Okay. Well, so we're all sure. conscious of um, her need to be mm -hmm. able to be out of here yes. by eight. Yep. Um, Take your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> your email okay. said seven forty-five. So, so if there's well, another seven fifty. Yes. Okay. Uh, if there's no other <laughs> board comment, uh, we'll move on to superintendent superintendent's report. Uh, well, I don't have a whole lot to report. I will tell you that um, we did, uh, as you know, Mark Klein our. Uh, Tech, ed, tech director has left, mm -hmm. resigned. Oh, no. And, no, uh, no, no, yeah. no. and uh, we have had interviews for a new tech director. Um, I made the offer uh, last Friday to someone. Um, and I don't want to announce the name because I need to get the executive board together in order to do the approval. But somebody who is well known in the state, um, very well known in the state has applied and uh, we're, we're going to uh, move forward with that, but I need to get the executive board to approve it. Okay. And that will happen hopefully in the next couple of days, uh, 4th of July kind of gets in the way, but as soon as I can, because Mark has actually left now, he left uh, Friday. So. Okay. so we shouldn't be without the tech director for very long, um, and I think Mark uh, has done a good job in trying to get equity among all the schools. We used to have the haves and the have-nots, and now pretty much everybody's uh, have been brought up to speed uh, is somewhat equal. Um, you know, not without cost to the districts, of course, but uh, I think we have a, a system now that um, is, uh, is is e been equalized and uh, the kids all have opportunities with uh, uh, Chromebooks and things like that, that they all have a pretty good handle on uh, technology. Uh, we've got a lot of new things in the, in the schools, uh, like the interactive um, uh, boards that, that we use and uh, various other things. So um, he did a nice job, and uh, he's... How long was he in? Three years. Um, is it a surprise he was leaving this? Uh, I knew he was looking. He took a position in New Hampshire, down in the southern part of the state, Wilton Lineborough, which is a very rural district somewhere between Keene and Salem, uh, or Keene and Nashua, but right down on the mass border. I think they probably, he's probably uh, got more resources there. <coughs> so I, yeah, I'm not, I wasn't completely taken off guard. <laughs> the, the problem is there was a there was an executive board meeting last night and I didn't have his he didn't he didn't call me and tell me oh, the job until this morning so oh, I couldn't really do it okay. last night <laughs> anything else uh, no uh, we're still hiring teachers um, here and <laughs> in all the districts around the uh, SU um, expect that to go on for a couple more weeks or another week or two, but it's coming to the end of that season now that we're into July. 
I, I like some of the people that we've gotten back. There's a bunch of us going to Leslie University to, to take a class in uh, literacy leadership <laughs> uh, uh, for three or four days. <laughs> and we will, um, we're going to stay at the Leslie Housing to try to make it affordable in dorms. So uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to go to a hotel or whatever it is. Uh, I just think that's more fitting. <laughs> they did tell me they have air-conditioned rooms, so I'm happy about that. But mm -hmm. the room rates in Boston are four nights, uh, three nights, uh, four days, and his room. Um, Mary Ellen, Amy Toff, myself, um, the principal from Tunbridge, the principal from Chelsea, principal from Royalton Elementary. Um, I think there's seven. Uh, Deb Matthews although she's staying with a relative. Uh, so, you know, the, the housing's pretty cheap, and this time of, in, of year in Boston, you're looking at 300 bucks a night, probably, for, for people, and that's not, I mean, we'll pay about 100, which is, I think, pretty reasonable. It's like a road scholar truck. <laughs> well, that's where we ought to be staying, not, not in $300 uh -huh. hotels, so. Um, yeah. Anyway, so we're going to go down and, and uh, work on this, and uh, hopefully that'll help. Uh, we have a new principal in Newton. Um, she's an interim. Uh, her name is uh, Tracy Thompson. She comes from Hartford. We have a new principal in uh, Sharon, uh, Keenan Haley, and uh, he was on the staff there and has been, been promoted up to principal, so uh, we're happy for those two additions of the principal. Everything else is pretty stable, actually. So okay. we're happy about that. Okay. Great. Um, <laughs> principal report. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Pretty a uh, little bit about what we did on the 18th and 19th with staff. We had Amy Toth here on the 18th um, to work with all staff on literacy training and other professional development around literacy training. And it was a good jump start, I would say. Um, she also set up individual and group times with teachers to work on different strategies for their classroom and implementation of the parts of the kits and things that they should be doing before. It. So it's not just a free for all of everybody going their own way. She described the coaching model that we'll be using um, as well as let them work together to kind of start to decipher all the information that goes with what should be in a lesson and how you're going about doing that and what that looks like at the different grade levels. Um, every teacher that participated in that for the most part what I can see on my learning plan has signed up for the one credit course that goes with that so they have to create a classroom action plan as well as part of that class um, and then the next day uh, yes, how was yeah, that received? very well I think they were excited about it because it's kind of been these materials that they haven't all gotten into and you still barely scratch the surface on mm -hmm. it I would say um, but it was a good opportunity to just talk about like and the rapport with Amy very good, good. yeah okay. philosophy like what is the must-haves what are the what's philosophy? the coaching model then did what how does she work um, so some coaching in terms of my understanding is that like she'll go in and observe as well and then talk about how meet with different teachers as well as teachers starting to meet with teachers too to observe. So what she doesn't wants. necessarily model anything for the teacher. She doesn't do an interactive coaching. Um, I think at the beginning, like we're still working all that out with her in terms of what that will look like for both Stockbridge and Rochester and what days that'll that's be with us. That's something you've talked about. Right. It's yeah, being essential in your telling, you know, telling isn't teaching. I mean, right. you see it's not the same as yeah, no as showing and leading someone through right. something, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. if you see something that's incorrect right away mm -hmm. you need to intervene right, right, away, right. and that's learning so mm -hmm. that it that's it concerns me that it's not an interactive coaching yeah right. that I think there's nice. I think that's there's room thing. for us we have not sat down me and myself Bruce Bonnie Amy and Mary Ellen mm -hmm. so that's definitely something we can talk about how that works in 
because I remember that from your presentation. Mm -hmm. So I think the interactive coaching mm -hmm. hopefully could be part right. of this. And she kind of divided people up by like primary grades and then intermediate grades uh, and worked with them in that setting. Like what does this look like in your classroom? What do you need? And when I say just scratch the surface, we probably could have spent five weeks and still not even gotten through everything we needed to, but it was a good positive step in the right direction. And then um, the next day we met for the boarding and it was an opportunity for teachers to work in grade level pairs to talk about some curriculum design and backward um, design planning. And the way um, Bonnie and I put that is we have a lot of great people, but they've kind of been off doing their own thing without any clear direction. So now that we've gotten through a lot of other things, we can really focus on some instructional um, needs. So we uh, presented, I say we, Bonnie got a flat tire on the top of the mountain oh. that day. So I <laughs> presented uh, this backward design model that we had come up with as well as a lesson plan template. And we've asked to see that in literacy and mathematics. Um, moving forward. Can you just explain what backward design means again? A little bit more? So it means that you look at your whole year and you kind of map out your the year. The year you just right, finished. Yep. Well, no. Oh, hold, looking forward. Okay. Moving forward, yes. And you should be mapping out your different units. So you shouldn't be spending uh, three months on something that is really, you know. So the, uh, just the, the term backward, meaning that you're sort of, okay, this is my goal, and now how do I get there? Morning, more backwards in the terms of here are the students' learning objectives. What is it going to take to get them to meet those learning objectives? Oh, okay. So, so you, get, you have what the outcome is, and right. then you work, work backwards, backwards as to what the To how you would build up to that. Okay. So that's, gotcha. that's also in the design of the of the lesson planning template, right? That right. coordinates with that. Absolutely. Kind of all in one, and um, that seems to, and then we let them go and work on that, and just rotate it around, and ask questions, and yeah. Just um, back to my, you know, my, my harbinger, um, um, open curriculum. Uh -huh. Is these lesson plans or some edited down version of them going to possibly be available someday? in a three ring binder that parents could look at and say, oh, this is what the fall's going to be for my kid, this is what. Because there was more of that happening in the right. with Le Linda toward the end of the year, she was sending home stuff about right. what they're actually working on. And I just, I mean, that is something I just have been around, you know, pushing yeah. for uh, quite a while. It's just the idea that parents can come in and look at a folder that says, this is what the second grade is working on in the fall so, so that it's transparent. Because okay. you don't know, are we working on learning about uh, mountains or are we learning about uh, Africa? Yeah, 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 are exactly. we learning about or, and, and are we, we we're, we're all generally starting at the division, you know, in second grade, we're going to be starting in division and working up through. Um, so some of it's already, we could easily share. And the okay. reason I say that is some of it's all, pr the proficiencies have already picked. These uh -huh. are the 10 that uh, your second grader needs to know by that end of second grade in okay. math yeah, that's and the writing. Stuff. There, but so that would definitely be easy to share out. But we have talked about a more, how to share that out. We haven't quite figured that out yet. Well, there is the, the newsletter. Right. Out that, it, that has a little bit, but I think but we're better looking, looking for something more depth. That's a little more. And kind of yeah. up front for the year. That's right. Yeah, that's, uh, and this was the thing, mm -hmm. I brought it up you know, several months ago, this idea of transparent curriculum transparency, the idea that it's literally in a book at the front that anybody can walk, any parent can walk into the office, flip open the book, and mm -hmm. look at the goals. And I know that Bonnie sort of sort of said well we're working on that so we'll get there right and sounds like you're saying we've got some of it now well we have set kind of that expectation that everybody's got to do that yeah so I'd, level. I'd like to i just love so to see next year that by yeah, next year it i just i don't know that it'll be the whole year conference no 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 even if you even if you just, just said fall term here's mm -hmm. what fall term and you can look because okay. i'd love to be able to look and see what the third grade's doing for the third, second grade, okay. you know, it's, it's just right. so I can be looking ahead. I mean, we're we're very active parents here. You know, this is the kind of stuff, and I we want to encourage other parents to be that active. And right. 
And yeah. I, think, I think some teachers are better than others. I know there's certain yes. teachers here that have always done that. Um, mm -hmm. Very clear about and what yeah. what their where their goals are. To it certainly can enhance their relationship with your kid too. Uh, you can build on what you're learning. You know ask, what yeah. you know well, they're learning. And, and if it's something that's that. available that we're not necessarily shipping to every parent because yeah. we don't need all that paper, but no, no, no. it's available. Can, where that's can it. I find it? Could you make me a copy? Sure, we'll make you a copy of your. Or it's or sitting it's there. In the it sits in the office, and anybody can ask for the curriculum book. You know, and I just. I I just, you know, because as we said, transparency is one of our biggest things, and the more, the more parents are aware, if they want to be, about what kids are doing, yeah. the more engaged and then they, they can, can be. they can share with their friends mm -hmm. what cool things Hey, you know, did you doing? know that we're working on this stuff? And right. like, really? Where'd you see that? Oh, I saw it at the book at the front office. Anyway. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll just right, keep, thank you. It's like, you have yours, I have mine. <laughs> Fair enough. We have our flags. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I'll let you get to number three. No, <laughs> you're good. Good to know. Uh, so we've been interviewing for the fourth grade position for Rochester. First um, set of interviews, I would say, was a failed search. Um, that happened. Failed, failed search. Yeah, right. failed search. Meaning we brought some candidates in. Uh, we had five scheduled. Three of the five took jobs other places, and then we brought two in, and they just weren't a fit for various yeah. reasons. Um, so we held the interviews again. Last weekend, we have a candidate in mind, and Bonnie is working on checking their references mm -hmm. uh, right now because the references are on the West Coast, so there's a little bit of time difference in working on that. So hopefully soon. Mm -hmm. uh, are you, is she excited about the person, or is it like? Yeah, I think. So that person has interviewed? Yes, has mm -hmm. interviewed after we had her. Mm -hmm. Nice, right? Nope. Um, is that the woman? Local? That was the woman who was mm -hmm. here the other day. Well, we there's a yeah, there are a oh. couple candidates. Okay. But, um, I am excited. I think there's a lot of potential, and an interview doesn't tell everything. Right. That's mm -hmm. the first thing I'll say. Um, some people are just better at it than others, which mm -hmm. is fine. Um, so we'll, which is why we're really keen on what the references say Good. to make sure they line really up important. with Thank what you. we think. Good. Okay, great. The best way to put that. Um, members from both Stockbridge and Rochester campuses attended the Best Institute last week, which uh, was an opportunity for teachers and principals, both Bonnie and I, went um, to attend different strands of classroom management, social emotional trainings, and then come back to the table and work within your team on what that means for your school and your campus. And it was really productive and pretty powerful. Um, That's where you said you got sent. Yes, yeah, yeah. that was. Um, did all the teachers from both schools go? No, the, everybody had the opportunity um, from Stockbridge, two teachers and our guidance counselor went, and from Rochester, our guidance counselor and three teachers went. Very good. So, Thank you. yeah, absolutely. Uh, we do you think that we will probably, a lot comes out of it, meaning like you plan how you're going to roll out your school-wide expectations and how that implements discipline and or impacts discipline and things like that. So we are going to um, present to the faculty that, you know, if you didn't come, you should come next year. It's the same, same week every year um, and worth it. Gentle suggestion. A gentle suggestion, yes. Uh, Stockbridge is looking for custodian. We've received several applications and we'll begin interviewing next week when um, Janet Whitaker gets back from vacation because she's definitely one of the ins and outs of me, what that person is. Yep. While you're talking about custodian, this is a letter from Francis Brown, who's been our custodian, uh, retiring, and giving us notice. Been here for this five years? I think five years here and then Randolph for a much longer part of two. Yeah, we're going to miss him. Yes. Uh, he knows a lot of things. <coughs> um, and then last week, both Stockbridge and Rochester had the asbestos visit. Mm -hmm. It was exciting. Uh, we don't have like the results of what they found about the asbestos other than um, here are some expectations that need to be put in your plan, including people being trained and notification of 
asbestos, things like that. Uh, what else? Rockbridge is underway here, which is summer. I saw him yesterday yeah. morning. Summer camp, as well as tutoring, is included in that too. We have a resignation from the uh, Z teacher. If you want to read that, this is the one here. Yes. Yes. Just uh, I'll formally put that into the minutes. <coughs> and we are actively searching. You want yeah. to say something? I didn't interrupt you. And it's completely gone that first too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Be careful with us, almost mm -hmm. sixty year olds. You know, we don't even um, say it. Yes, that's what I remember. Uh, the whole office, because I remember I talked to you about the Lisa Blair. Yeah. It's now that's official. That can be talked of. Right, that's official, and uh, Bonnie put an ad to go. It should be in this week's paper. And have we? Your sharing, question I'm getting. We are sharing Lisa now. Yeah, we have a well, agreement. Yeah. I'm just. Is it, is it, is it, it was sort of presented to the board that there was going to be a sort of dynamic change in terms of who was going to be taking care of what and that somebody might be taking care of <coughs> two things here right. from here and there and then then there's Lisa there might be another person sort of doing and I'm just wondering how that's going and what's being advertised um, what's the plan? <laughs> what the plan right now so the plan right now is Janet Whitaker is doing all of the ordering all the POs all the accounts payable for both campuses okay, good. sorry Yep. Um, and that's just to keep consistency. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, and that will stay. She so had been doing that, or she, she now is, is doing that? She is now doing that. Okay. So that's just to keep. So she's taking over from Lisa from that. Oh, from, from that. From Rochester. Right. Yeah, so Rochester. that has allowed us to expand her, we think, 10 days. Well, it'll be a little bit of trial and error. Her contract's like 200 days right now. Uh, but it'll end up being more, more with this additional work. Because okay. Lisa's was more. Right, yeah. Lisa's was more. Lisa's was year round, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yes. Two We're six, not. 260. Right. So we will. That's year round, 260. 260 is year round. So Janet will. 260 hours, sorry. This will be. A, two yeah. 260 yeah, days. This will be a little bit of trial and error how long it actually takes her to get through everything. That needs to be done. And so the During position the being advertised. The is position being advertised right now is for a 200 day person, um, which is X number of days. Uh, what is that to be? What? Like five days at the end of the school year and 10 days or something like that before, before and, the school year. And w what to do what? What is that? Th what is the So position? that's all the stuff that happens in building. You know, when up supplies come in, they've got to figure out where they go. Right. Uh, and just and answering front of orders. Office like right. That. Front of office. And okay. so is that like um, registration and, can be, yeah. and ki okay. mm -hmm. kids records and getting all mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. paperwork to parents and back? Right. Is Stacy still going to keep her position? As far as I know. Okay. I haven't heard that Okay, yeah, no, I just wasn't yeah, sure no. that was changing. Um, <coughs> okay. So it, it's a cost savings opportunity. Some of it will very much depend on what the applicant pool is right. in terms of what those responsibilities can be. Mm -hmm. um, I think what we found is Lisa is a wealth of knowledge, but in terms of the need for any of those positions to be here around, with now that we're both pre-K through six, there's probably not necessarily a need. And we may be proven wrong when we try this model. Mm -hmm. But okay. that's what we're going to go. That's no, no, what that's we're going to go. Thank you. That's what yeah. I wanted to know. Good. That makes sense. And in the interim, like Bruce said, uh, Bonnie and Lisa sat down and figured out a schedule. She'll be there like three days a week for just a couple of hours in the afternoon to just... Throughout the summer or during the school year? Throughout the summer. And okay. then she will come and help train whoever the new person is. Um, and that is kind of, it's been worked out, but again, it's gonna depend on the person. Okay. And, um, you know, what is a system for one person may not be a successful system for the other person, so. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Good, thank you. Yeah. a party or anything for teachers? Yeah, we did a, um, we did like a 
spot block this word I'm looking for. Oh, yeah. great. On right. the 19th, where both faculties were together. We'll be getting married in two weeks. Time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the word? Let me think about it. Oh, no worries. Um, uh, yeah, okay. good. Great. Yeah. Uh, so that's the end of the principal's report? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, discussion items. Uh, I will try to be conscious of the time as we're discussing. Right. Yeah. Okay. Could, okay. I mean, I almost think annual meeting and report review could go to the retreat. Yeah, okay. I think that's a big issue. I think we really want a real vision on that, and that's a, okay. a real vision. That could be part of the retreat I, I, agenda, yeah. so. Yep. Okay. Um, so, uh, update on the software's generator. Um, uh, last week we talked, we were going to find out a little more. Oh, and I didn't go, um, see, I'm out of it. I didn't go to the selectmen. Okay. So I have to do that. Okay, I'm so that's, so sorry. no, that's good. That's why I put it back on the agenda, so we can make <laughs> sure like, uh, uh, where we are. So, okay. um, right? Uh, it's awful, I'm terrible. No, it's okay. It's no big deal. So Jeannie is going to um, speak with the, go to the select board to talk to them about, um, because it's a, a emergency, Show, emergency shelter, shelter. And, and such. And then I believe also, Lindy, you, you were going I to- I reached out and the woman that is in charge of that was on vacation. Okay. So hopefully- So what that was is just to get more clarity on what possible grant help they, mm -hmm. they were gonna help us with the grants, but we wanted to know a little bit more specifically, you know, are we talking, you know, thousand dollars are we talking? You know mm -hmm. what? What really is out there? Because we just don't know mm -hmm. if they have all this experience working with getting grants and stuff. Um, and then I had also given you um, the Rochester Shelter team's um, head, uh, Janice um, McCann's number, just as an, a resource if okay. needed to, um, uh, because she they have um, created a Rochester Shelter team, and they there might just be a good resource for for us. Okay. Okay. Great. Sorry, guys. No, Come not in. at all. That's so. Uh, it's a while, trust me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got my project. I've been working on for three months. It's uh, tough. Um, okay. So then, the um, moving on to the next steps after the Black River Design Report, um, and I guess. I mean, part of this is sort of. And retreat topic. So yeah, I was just going to say that. But is there obviously the next step is the asbestos. Would get inserted thing. into that. Yeah. yeah. Would but get that. So, that. so the next step is really we're going to get a physical report though. Well, right. But I don't you know did, one. You the did. one that's in your email yeah. is yeah. everything that they presented to us priority wise. Mm -hmm. Um, it should be 95%. Which is, well. right, is 95% of what you're looking for. But is it like a written, is it? It is written. I haven't read it. But no. yeah. Because you, you know, that's the thing. Just yeah. dive into what exactly are they saying about this portion. About right. This. I think okay. it's written. I I didn't read it, but it, it I have written. Yeah. It looks like, I like the yeah, so that you can, you can coordinate <laughs> you it like with the, 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 the <laughs> chart that up. she gave us. Right. right. So you can go then go back and just get a little right. more information about what that no, box is. Could be. Okay. Right. So um, then there's going to be an asbestos add-on to it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then. Well, that, do you think you'll have that before or don't know? Yeah. No clue. Okay. Have how they been fast paid? those people? Have they been paid? Do we know? Uh, I believe the bill was submitted, so yes. Have so they been signed the contract? <laughs> how, how was their budget? Like, do they still, like, how much did, they did it stay come on in? budget? Yeah. Is that what you're asking? I think so. Uh, I would I have to look at that. I haven't seen the bill. Tara would know. Uh, okay. I don't know if that's in my email. Can we yeah. instruct you to ask Tara mm -hmm. or, and, and let us know just to, I just got a big bill that was beyond what I expected. Or something, and <laughs> it's not fun. we don't want sticker <laughs> shock because <laughs> that is sort of one of the reasons we picked them. I think so they did a good job of. Okay. Oh. So we'll get the report, um, and the next step is that we're going to have a retreat mm -hmm. that we're going to discuss overall vision and of our district. Well, and like as Bonnie said, what do we want for our kids and where is the best place to have that happen? Okay. I, that's that's I think right. that's the way to go. Um, okay. So in some ways we've done the next step with the 
The next step is for us to use the information. Use the information for our, you think? Yeah, for our retreat. And probably, I mean, I haven't done this yet, but probably all of us should get familiar with it. Yes. Mm -hmm. That we all should be. Yeah, that the we should, so that we can come with questions. I mean, maybe the next step is actually questions, because we've got a month till our retreat. If there's anything, if we could all look at it. Questions for Black River. Well, maybe Black out. River, yeah. So that we, because I'd hate to be. And this was sort of Carl's thing at the emergency meeting. Um, was he'd hate to be held up at the retreat by something significant yeah. that we don't have that we okay. could have had if we knew and not that we're going we're of course we're going to come up with stuff so i'm just thinking right, if, we, if we could all look to, yeah if we could all look at the report and jot down a question or two obviously jenny you you know you know this material how to read these things really best. So I'm going to put it all on you. We need to follow that through Wendy and Bonnie to, yeah. Yeah. to yeah. If there's questions for Black yeah. River Design, yes. yes to exactly. clarify anything. Yeah. Okay. Um, that would be my suggestion for the next step before the retreat. Okay. To come up with our qu any, if there are any questions, maybe not. Maybe there are. Right, read material and, and clarify mm -hmm. anything that needs mm -hmm. to clarify. So okay. that we go in really well informed. Okay. Good. And then I assume at, right, and then part of our um, retreat nice. agenda will be, um, be the nice. next step after that. It, you know, yeah, it yeah. Will We're using that. the so material. Using that so that the public can you know where they're involved. It would be great to have printouts of the final report for the retreat. Can we ask them to do that for us? Well, we can print out what they emailed. They won't send hard copies until um, the asbestos. Once it's final. Right, once it's final. Okay. And oh, okay. or they won't finalize it if you guys have other questions too. Okay. So. Gotcha. Okay. So possibly the, the week before the retreat we should we ask get some the office to, yeah, to, to print out mm -hmm. copies for us. That'd be great. Um, because at that point, maybe... Just to... So well, I'll talk about when we get to scheduling. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, do we know, does it cost more if we ask them questions at this point? Not if we ask them clarifying questions. If it, I think, if it requires them to go back in and do more, do more. Yeah, right? Right. Right. But right. answering yeah. questions, they can turn. Yeah, right. they also kind of no. we asked them about that, and they said that they wouldn't mind taking some call. Right, and, and they'll definitely let us know. They've been really so easy so. to work with. Right, so. they seem like it. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. okay. Good. So, uh, uh, let's change. To save that for the agenda. Um, What's that? Well, I Carl has brought up. Um, do we want any information from the um, Rochester Select Board prior to our um, retreat? Like what? Well, to like tell them that would they know. take a building or two? You know, basically. So I worry if you do that too early. Right. That that is going to set the tone that there's some plan that none of us really have no, even right. thought about. I um, agree. There's also a lot of suspicion around oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. It we might do what? Right. Um, it was right. And I think like, it, and we I haven't I think even it talked about what I think the goal it works. Is. Yeah, exactly. And it works against Bonnie's, you know, I think very valuable information, which was to say, put the kids first, because if right. we sell it as, this is the best thing for the kids. Look at this. We can have this, 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 this if we make this choice. Right. And then, and then we're if we have it, yeah, we're making right. the choice, not positive choice, choice as opposed to, yeah. you know, what right. a uh, tag sale. Right, from what, right. Who's yeah. Right. Okay. I, I, yeah, no, I, right. I remember that too. So I, 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 I think that's a very good, very good point. Okay. Um, uh, shall we move on then? Mm -hmm. Okay. 7.4, the Rochester phone. marquee was brought up um, in last meeting and also meetings prior to that. And so um, Bonnie had, yep, um, you wanted to clarify. Um, mm -hmm. We took the sign down carefully. It is behind the high school. 
relocating it will be difficult and perhaps not at all practical. Its original location was on a flat surface on Dandelion property. In order to have it relocated on school property, it would have to be put across the driveway. The, pro the problem there is that the bank slopes sharply towards the parking lot. It would require a significant footing to be placed there, and then it is in a location that makes it difficult, if not impossible in the winter, to actually put any messages on it. There are all there are also some line of sight concerns that would have to be dealt with. Plowing of Route 100 would also impact. Um, then she notes, let's meet at school one day and I can be more specific about the challenges of relocating it. Um, so she wants to show you what she's talking about? If, if need be, she can okay. definitely clarify, yes. I think I'm gonna get to your issue, but um, maybe not. So I think what we're actually this to me is pretty clear about that the actual marquee, sign. that yes. marquee that we have, and I think Mason, I may be anticipating you, but maybe not. Um, how are we going to get public information out? Is yes. the is the question to ask? Because I think mm -hmm. Mason's um, point that it's it is the public notice board Correct. for and the school. To that point, mm -hmm. I had no idea when Rochester was going back to school until I drove by and, and saw this I exactly and saw it first here. day of school exactly exactly so so, so I'm just saying ooh, there needs to be a plan for having a notice board some now I'll know. <laughs> <laughs> but also but I'm just saying but I'm just saying so 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 that's an instruction <laughs> that I, I hear you know this is problematic with that sign so what is the plan there needs uh, to be a plan. And you don't have to have one. I'm I don't have one. Back, yeah. I know it's on our list for her and I when she and I meet next week. But it's, it's important. It is it's important. important. I think there's a couple pieces to it. We're not going to win is the first thing to understand. We're each, not gonna. And the reason I say that is each family, each person expects the information to come to them a different way. Okay. And I think that's great about a small town but like I don't have the right answer I don't know that we ever will that we'll get everybody to it I agree that we need to have a more consistent one um, I would also say when looking at marquee boards that is the biggest pain in the butt I've ever dealt with in my life it doesn't even open all the way you're getting hit on the head it's not fun oh yeah gotcha um it's like so posters at the top yeah it was very time consuming it's very time consuming Wait, and then yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's definitely on our list to talk to. I, I think we would be open to suggestions, but I don't know. It sounds like the line of sight would be the first question. I don't know that there's going to be an actual replacement that would be in the line of sight of Route 100 based on her email. Right. Without that. Okay. But I don't know. Should we hear? Yes. Coming in front of the camera. Yeah, because I've been harassed <laughs> in other locations about getting in front of the camera. Good so see you. Yeah, good to see you. Um, we don't harass. You. I no, I love education. It's a whole different world okay. than yeah, town okay. functioning. So the last painted barrier with a fence on it. Okay, we have barriers for the school buses, and mm -hmm. the thing is painted. Why can't it be part of the last barrier? So on that chain link well, fence, take, the chain, take a, a take part of the part chain of link out. Or even chop off some of the concrete and put it, I mean, come on. That's we can do these things. I was things. just thinking the same thing. No, no, no. It's not. But I don't know. I think okay, it's, well, great. That uh, yeah, I think we can look. I'm just trying to think. Can you see it from both ways? Yes. I'm well, I'd ha we'd it's have even to better than the old location. We'd actually have to. Well, the old location I was at. Would have to look look at the first place. That is that is a good because we. To, but the bus, the right hand bus, isn't that on property we don't own? Correct. Okay. There's, yeah. a right yeah. 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 There's a right of way. No, no, no. I'm I just don't saying. know where the property mm -hmm. line. The, the property line is actually in the somewhere in the middle of the bus lane yeah. Yeah. where they park. So, so, the but, so but, but the concrete things I think are on our property. We need to clarify that. We need to clarify that. But, but that, that is, is a good option. suggestion. You're Thank welcome. You. And you know, and maybe we have to look at moving forward to save labor and cost by looking at the new technology of a sign that uh, uh, the person yeah. does it from inside. Yeah. Well, like Bethel like has. I've yeah, Bethel has. I mean, we just move forward. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And what's critical, 
you were speaking of different people's needs. Right. The taxpayers who are not parents, that's a big one for them. Yeah. Right. It's how, how can that information right. get to them? Mm -hmm. that we have had complaints about the one in Bethel because of the activity of lights right. moving and it's, you know, it's uh, pros flashing and things yeah. and people. Well, great. Know. <laughs> this is a possibility. Let's, and I would Country be happy to meet yeah. with you if, uh, when you would like. And I'll actually show up as opposed to the if teachers. If you hand this out, I'll just talk about it. Under yeah. Under. <laughs> okay. Um, Good. Great. So, uh, moving on to action items. Wait, uh, treasure. Search, uh, search new for new treasure. treasure. Search. Oh, your own. Yeah, I did. Okay, so, um, as we know, um, Kathy Brown's very gracious and stayed on with us. Um, but she's going to be leaving uh, August 30th as treasurer, so... Mm -hmm. um, Do we know what the treasurer does? Do we yeah, have the yeah, description? Yeah, sure. Um, and it's not a paid position in any way, right? It's it, a volunteer? It is, it is paid. It is a paid position, okay. Okay. Well, um, I do have, by, um, from the state, the, the the statue of what a school treasurer does, but it is the handbook for municipal treasurers is where this came out of. Mm -hmm. But in layman's terms, no, I do not have. She gets the warrant. Signs the checks. Signs the checks after Janie says yes, right? You have to go over and yeah. sign those, and then she mails them all out. Well, there is some type of financial reporting she's supposed to, to do. Um, as I've been diving into the um, funds and, and endowments that we have, mm -hmm. there are specific uh, reports that she's supposed to be providing to the board and to a Tara well, as we well. We do a lot of the legwork in our office. She does a lot of checking, you know. The right, she takes all the deposits to the bank. Like, we drop all our deposits. Mm -hmm. Does it make sense to have it connected to the town clerk, or it doesn't necessarily have to be? It but does not have to be. It was, it's by default that if the school does not, uh, is not able to elect the town, a school treasurer, yeah. the town clerk has to do it. By okay. It's oh, okay. Have oh, okay. Have we, have we I don't think we have a new one yet. I don't think the town I has hired one, one yet. Okay. Have, we have, a, have we approached our Rochester? I have spoke with um, Julie, yeah. uh, who's our current town clerk. Mm -hmm. um, she really would not like to at this time just mm -hmm. because she's so learning yeah. the whole town yeah. clerk position, mm -hmm. which is why I'd like not to have it default yeah. on right. somebody new in yep. Stockbridge. They have a lot that they have to figure out just there. Yeah, right. um, maybe so do we, I mean, uh, do we literally put out an article in the paper and saying oh, that would be a good step to put out say we're looking for because yeah. it's a part-time position correct some pay I mean could would you be able to write up a description for no, no what I would like to ask is if our business office has one what type of support they would be able to give to a new treasurer because I had one lined up for yeah. Desiree. Previously, Desiree, and she received no support from the SU. It was a bad time in mm -hmm. the office up there. Um, but she said, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. I, I don't know. So she might enough. actually be I'm interested. Were we to give her a... Probably if she could get a, a full, mm -hmm. a, like a training and, yep. and a definition. <laughs> yeah. um, she could possibly be interested again. Um, I was also thinking that... Um, Becky Klein was the, is the um, mm -hmm. what vice assistant clerk, assistant clerk thank you mm -hmm. the assistant clerk and so she, she was our assistant treasurer mm -hmm. so she knows the ins and outs of it I don't know if she'd be lying to or not um, but I think I think publicizing our need yeah. Uh, yeah. soon yes that's why I brought it up be, here. yeah 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 no it's I think it, this is happening fast we're going to do fire next meeting. Can Where do we put get another little thing that says what a treasurer does? That's good. Sure. If she yeah. could. And what do we do? Put it in the hallow? I think so. Because it's that goes to both our communities. That is our designated paper out okay. note. Yep. Um, and maybe we put it out on Facebook too. I don't know. But uh, um, I think once we have it. Yeah. And once we have the link that it's got support. Correct. 
um, that'll make a big difference. Because yeah. it sounds like it's not something we want to just no, throw it, around. Yeah, I mean, I like I said, as I'm diving into the project, I've been diving into, I was, you know, handed this box. And I'm like, oh, this is just a box of papers. And here I am trying to go, you know, trying to organize and put. It's just the. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah. Yeah, it's, gotcha. it's, it's actually a pretty important job. <laughs> so we want a, like a paragraph saying the board needs a, tre a new a treasurer. Yeah. These are the these are the t duties of a treasurer. This is um, applicants will be told maybe the end you don't put the salary in there, but maybe you say part time pay or something like that. Yes. In it. Mostly uh, volunteer. This is public service with a little renumeration. Mm. Right, something like that. Um, Perfect. And if, if she wanted to write it up and I approach Desi and Rebecca Klein That's before right, of we course, absolutely. Yeah. You know, That's great. The, before we pay for the paper, yeah. um, I will would be happy to do that. Okay. Okay. And great. obviously if anybody okay. yeah, think and if, please, if you yeah. think yeah. of somebody, anybody yeah, yeah. who, who public service minded yeah. people. Um okay. Well, then we will move on to action items. Mm -hmm. And we are going to start with our um, scheduling of the retreat. Now, um, do we have a confirmed day for the retreat? Well, everybody who was at the emergency meeting said they could do August 2nd. Correct. Except, except, except no. well, no. I sent that out, and then I talked with her afterwards, and she was like at the farmer's market, and she was like, I could make it work. So right now, obviously, what we don't want to ask. Eight? August second is a Friday, okay. and the and idea we were. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Possibly, if we started a little earlier and got on a little earlier. That's what I suggested to her. Um, what was the time? They talked about ten to six. And Carl was like, oh, you know, <laughs> maybe 10 to 4. Um, right. I think, you know, the idea that it's a lunch meeting, and I, I personally could start, especially because it might be right down the road for me. Um, I believe, as far as I know, that my house that I have available is still available August 2nd. Okay. Um, it's a great place to meet. Um, yeah, we could start over there and Yeah, I think well, that's... The other thing yeah. for that, the, um, we had also discussed... Um, uh, Tacting on our meeting. Yeah, maybe 10 Alaska. to 4 was the retreat, and then 4 to 6 was a board meeting, our, our actual annual board meeting. And maybe we... It was annual. I'm monthly. Sorry, monthly. Mm -hmm. our, our, our yeah. Maybe we don't want to do that to be able to keep the time shorter for... I mean, her, her concern was, you know, missing, missing her Friday market, which right. she does very well at in Rochester. Um, but she also felt like when she started to think it through, that she could probably find somebody to make it work. Okay. So I think we should, obviously, when her child is out of danger, yeah. um, reapproach. But as far as I know, and I don't, we had, you weren't there, but as far as everybody who was at the emergency meeting, we were all that. good. Okay. Do we know Bonnie? Mm -hmm. um, she was good. Bonnie could, and you were okay. good, correct. Well, yeah. So um, I'd say we go forward with that then. Um, with the hope, I think, yeah, well, I, will, I, will, I will check on absolute definite availability. Okay. Um, is anybody? Well, do 10 to 4 then? And well, the we were thinking maybe starting earlier, right? Oh, I mean, why? <laughs> no, well, if we end at four, you do wake right? up in the exactly. morning, don't you? <laughs> Not early. Oh, really? Well, ten to four is is six hours with a lunch. I think that's prob okay. probably probably happy. Four, but four, I think but are we also ten. doing a our August meeting? Because we weren't going to do the meeting on the regular day because we were doing it here. Because I I mean because that would have been the. Um, I mean, right. think about it. If we've talked about our big topics, basically, we're just asking for principal's report. And You'd be glad There's to always each something. other. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, I don't know. It just seems like we always have so much to talk about. Yeah. You know, we have we have a literacy um, thing that she could do for us. Yeah. You know, we could spend some time on that. So I I, I don't want to I like to shy away from canceling a meeting. No, I agree. Um, well, because that's that was the tenor of the uh, that I got at the last meeting. Mason, sorry, were you? Oh, um, so the board is the public meeting. Yes. 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 Correct. But it's going to not be. Warm. It will be in an alternate location. Yes. It'll be in an alternate location. It'll, it won't be in uh, one of the two schools. Mm -hmm. It will be in an off-site place. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, 
and we are now discussing about our where that offset is. August, no, our, our August meeting, if we're going to tack that on or not. Because that would be a meeting the next Tuesday. Right. Yep. And so we the have to decide whether we, and this I idea was that we just met that, and so Correct. we weren't going to okay. do that. So but uh, that wasn't anything set in stone. So, so I think we did we 10 to 4, 10, 10 to 3 with our no, me ten meeting, at four, meeting at 3? I mean, I think personally we should keep, I think we should meet. There was like somebody's going away though right after that. I'm going on vacation the 3rd. Nice. I'll be mm -hmm. gone on the 6th. Right. Right. You'll be gone on the 6th. You'll so be gone on the 6th. So we'll be married by that point. You'll be married? <laughs> so you may want all the excuses you can't. No, just kidding. <laughs> it's going to be a separately warned time. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's why we kind of need to nail down what time we're going to start the actual meeting. So w even if we're not done discussing discussion of the retreat, mm -hmm. we could probably have the meeting that has been warned to us can we have a then, then go back can we have a meeting in a, a, a scheduled meeting in an off-site location yes. of course yes. Yes. as long as you warn it and everything tell everybody where it is public what you're like doing so okay so okay. it's the time what time do we want to i think 10 to 4. And yeah i think 10 to 4 and then the question is so when do, so the, the meeting the meeting not? at will the meeting be worn for four or will the meeting be worn for three or two because then you're now you right now you've extended it that we're going to be there for another hour mm -hmm. to five. Well, but yeah. I don't think you want to cut short what you have. Yeah, I don't. Uh, during the retreat, the I feel like those are bigger items. Than somebody go wake up Janie and we start at nine, <laughs> and <laughs> we go till three. Oh God! And go, it's one I'll day. Do it's it. One day. Uh, nine to three, and then we do three to four as the scheduled board meeting. And that way we're still out of there. I'm down with whatever you guys want, but cool. I just know that we need to nail it down. Yep. Nine, to three. Nine, Nine to three. three. Nine to three. Are you okay with that? Oh, and no. And then board Definitely meeting is not. the second <laughs> at three. <laughs> Nine to three, and then... Thank you for what? asking. So, so I just thought um, I was trying to be polite. Who, I who is going to get that did. information to Miss... Miss Christie? Miss Christie. I was going to call the other tomorrow. name. tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Uh, so we need location. I just oh, I'll, right I'll, I will me. confirm. Because uh, we yeah. don't have if we, if it's not available. Because I knew it was available for in end of July when we first thought. But uh, I will confirm. Let me make sure tomorrow. tonight that I have daycare for that day. Because she doesn't usually work on Fridays, but she's usually convenient. But just to make sure. I thought maybe we could two being down the river. Oh, have a meeting <laughs> on the right river. Because we not? get a lot. A little tough for a worker. <laughs> oh be God. tough for a worker, but we yeah, can that's true. We can solar. Do probably have, have a solar attack. We can do mine. Okay, so okay. I'm sorry. We do need to keep going because yeah. it's getting late. Yeah. She's leaving soon. <laughs> so um, um, now, what, can we nail out a, a little bit of an agenda? Well, we obviously know the Black River Design Report and well, the next steps. But I think it, you know, it's like big. Can you right. start big first with like vision. Vision. vision? What's your vision? I've got What's a your big goal? black rolling well, that board that, that we might use. That's what this needs to be. It's just big yeah. agenda items. We just right. So the right big on. agenda items is uh, the, the future. future future of the school. Nothing less than the future of the school. And there's a bit of information that I would sort of like to have there. And I meant to. I was going to ask you if it's possible, Tara, to do this. Um, can we have a potential budget three years out, five years out for this SU? The SU? I mean, the things that the we district. know are going to be marching for our for our district, the expenses that are going to be going up that we have well, no control about. Um, they did do that for uh, when we were merging. There was projected budgets. Yeah, I think we have a lot better idea we're of what looking at just a something increase, two percent increase in exactly. spending and a two and per, a three percent increase in spending, two percent decrease in students or something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, something something so that we're dealing with concrete numbers of at what point because one of the biggest questions I want to talk about is at what point does it does it get too expensive to have two two places? Two campuses. Two campuses. <coughs> We need to know this. We need to have as best, it's the big question that everything's out there that everybody's freaked about. 
And, and we need to have some way to look at this in a rational way so it isn't just, well, I want a great school and I want it to be in this building. Um, and so I'm wondering what can we get from the uh, business office that can help us with that question. Um, <laughs> I've got a new business manager. Well, no, I'm just I saying, would, you know. I would, I'll ask, and certainly Marilyn is working with her. They're working uh -huh. together on this. and. So you're you're looking at you're looking at student numbers, um, and you're looking at. Uh, well, I just remember when when we were moving, we were provided with some type of budget with a matrix that had to do with for cost of living increase or you know projected salary increase. increases, you know, and then also future. with what the projected like decrease in or what you know historical decrease in population. In schools. Cause I just see it as the biggest question we've been facing ever since the merger even got talked about is buildings. You know, is where we're going to be yeah. in five years, and and that we need to be thinking about that. Um, the projection of students is not something that's difficult. Okay. You know, that's not that's not a difficult thing, based on what we already have in the building, just projecting out what the average classes have been and just going out a few years. That's mm -hmm. not a problem. What about teacher salary in the same? Uh, well, I mean, all that. So there's a couple variables. There's the health insurance that the state's trying to do now with everyone. And we don't have agreements that go beyond this year, this mm -hmm. next year. I mean, both the teachers one will sunset and also the support staff, which we just approved will sunset. Beyond that, I mean, I, I think it's been 3%, you know, per year. Uh, and even if we had... But that includes, you know, that includes... We usually get that handed down on... I mean, this year, the health insurance increase was mm -hmm. huge. And that yeah. adversely affected your budget because yeah. we had to figure that in there. I don't have any way of knowing what... Well, health even if we're conservative, do. conservative <laughs> estimates for the fixed costs <laughs> fuel, salaries, health care, and, and if we took conservative estimates and play that out five years, what does it look like? Even I just like to see it, just to see, because I get these sort of whispered comments that this is this is this thing that's out there that it's going to get too expensive, it's going to get <coughs> too expensive, and we need to have some sort of numbers to talk about, because I really don't know, other than that, it's just making it up. Right. Well, I'll work on it. Um, okay. I just, you know, that's a month, and you know, going on vacation. No, I understand. Thing, so. And if it's too much, then we'll just have to. No, but if you were, able, if it's too much, any portion of it that we can. Or even like you just told us, like three percent healthcare, three percent. You know, right. even if we had those basic things for salaries, well, you know. Well, was 11 percent. Okay. okay, well then that's great. I mean, it, right, whatever it number. Else, we could at least have a list of that type of information. Yeah. And if you could just literally, we don't need actual hard data, we just need percentages so that then we can sit there and go look at our own budget and say, okay, this marching is out, up yeah, this is going to go out year. every year. This is going to go down yeah. 2 percent, whatever the student population is. Okay. Yeah, right, you're able to do student projections pretty easily. Yeah, that's so. not okay. okay. Does that make sense that that's all we're looking I'll for? I'll do the best I can. Yeah, that'd be right. great. Thank you. Because it seems to me that's the huge elephant. And then, of course, we're going to put the annual meeting and, and um, yes. report review on. That'll be a nice agenda. break, actually. Right. From the big. I would say in the same, the, the calendar, we talked about like a calendar. Yes. Oh, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, Even yeah. Bonnie and I have talked about it, like what what's should we for have the ready board for to do, what yep, Bonnie yep, and yep. I need to do. That's great. It's just easier to map That's out the whole idea. year. As I said, I'll ship my big dry erase board up to this thing, so we'll have oh, definitely. a big double-sided board. I think, I think we need to have a timeline for the meeting. Yeah, absolutely. Um, like a timekeeper, yeah. yeah. We could just spend on... Like we could get nine going. to ten, whatever, ten to... Yeah, that's a good lunch. idea. Otherwise, we're going to run out of time. Right, exactly, because we, we, we chat. <laughs> we'll put a little bit, like, well, we don't get to that today. I mean, if I we have, 
If we have right now, how many agenda items three. do we have? We have three. Future of the school, vision, annual meeting, and report review and calendar. So Are we saying that the future of the school includes that Black River design report? Yeah. Okay. So well, that's that's a, that's a tool. Right there. Yeah, I was well, but say, that's so a that's, that's a tool that we have to get to the point of using. First, but either There's way, if we're going to review that, that's going to be at least an hour. I yeah. think there would be two parts to it. Yeah. Some yeah. of it might be some action steps that's to true. start thinking about. That we that we have to do anyway. And right. some mm -hmm. of it might, and then we it's have to also make a, a choice tool. in those. That's right. There, there, there was those there's options a lot of they gave you, and yeah. there, there's stuff that we Study have to do right away. So mm -hmm. we should make that decision. Yeah. Um, so we should. I think the vision should be first. Right. So we sit down and start talking about vision. We start getting stuff up on the and board. And that's we start and right, what we an see hour. for the future. And so for one hour, and then maybe we dive into the Black River mm -hmm. design, um, looking at. Studying action items. Looking, yeah, looking at just like, well, what does it say in there? You know, what? Mm -hmm. Well, and, and uh, yeah. And what are action. the action items, right? Yep. What are study and action are we, items? Do I we think want the way you said it. And I don't know if we're going to do like your, like a part for you for literacy. Are we going to do like mm -hmm. presentation stuff? Like, do we want like projector or are we just doing like handouts? I don't think we're going to know anything more than we know right now about the literacy effort until it really starts rolling. I'm not oh, sure. but what I'm presenting is not, is, is more generalizable knowledge so that we all can, or we all can judge. Oh, so you have an agenda in mind? Well, I've been basically... I know you've been doing it. So. Yeah, so... But what you're talking about is for our, the agenda for our meeting. Not for however the retreat, you want it, right? We were just saying, should that be included in the retreat or the meeting? I don't care. But I think Jenny was referring to should it be part of oh, the retreat. Mm -hmm. well, we're, uh, okay, so right now I, I have. I think it should be a part of the regular meeting as okay. the future of school. And because I'd like to continue that, I'd like you to be on every agenda. To I would it too. Or it <laughs> yes. Yeah, I was surprised she wasn't on the last. Well, two. because she just came back from. Copenhagen. Copenhagen. <laughs> okay, so oh, my adopted so son married his husband. Oh, oh my God, that would be. So Black River Design. Um, That's ten to eleven. Right. Do you think? An hour. To, uh, you think it's uh, just an hour? Ten to eleven, and then and. Well, let's then figure out all the things we have, and then we'll figure out okay. what are the priorities. Okay. Yeah, I just kind of put I an hour down. Yep. You okay. Gotta go. <laughs> I'm gonna force myself. Yep. You Good do. Job. You do. Go. No. No. Um. If you want, I can put, after you come up with agenda, I can like, Is that the last? Put it in. Oh, okay. so oh media. I'd like to just talk about the calendar for a minute on the other. Okay. okay. But, uh, go, Jenny. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so and what else? Many. So let's not even worry about time. So we've got yeah. future. Vis future. Well, vision will be an hour. We'll dive into the the, the, the study the study for an hour and spend it and then spend an hour on like the action items, reviewing the action items. I don't know. Uh, let's put it there for now. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, that would be eleven to twelve. Break from twelve to one. One. An hour break. Because we're not taking the break in the hard. morning. No, I, um, that's fine. Um, Thanks, Jenny. I think an hour is too long, personally, but that's me. Um, I also think that. Yeah, but you want to start at nine, and I'm doing it, so come yeah, on. Now. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Um, Twelve to one lunch. And then we don't then we only have. Uh, somebody. Well, how many? Do we know how many meet? Do you meet either? Am I a meat eater? Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, good. My <laughs> brother grows very good hamburger. Perfect. That's, oh, I, and that's there's a grill at this spot, so oh I could grill hamburgers for people. Perfect. All right. Perfect. Marcelo Farm hamburgers. Yeah, yeah, and I, I'll make a potato salad. Yeah, if we could do then potluck sort of fillers around For sides. That, that would be great. I'd okay. love a big salad if somebody could throw a salad together. All right. We got one to Amazing. two and two to three. Um, so we've got two more hours, and I think so that's your annual meeting and annual report or review and calendar. Boy, I 
think we're going to need more time uh, in black diving into Black River. But, but, but that allows us to. Well, do we already that, got think, two hours. The calendar for that. isn't going to take. We have we have two calendar hours. won't take that long. No. Oh, we put we did put two hours to the Black River design. Right. Yeah. Yeah. One, yeah, right. got two one hours study, and the other was the action that was breaking it into okay. two. One hour. Though I, you know, I, wow, it just feels like a big one. It's the first one that it sort of informs everything else, but. <laughs> but well, you can have people yeah. prep that, in my opinion. You can have everybody come to the table with what so you using, think yeah. mm -hmm. needs to be included in the vision, and that keeps it so you're not starting from scratch. That's a good idea. So if we door, get the agenda out that makes now, it and maybe we should we not worry about time yet? No, I think we should. Okay. We could spend, we could yeah. go okay. off I and not get out. I think we need to put a time on it. All right, I good, then we're done. We I think you ought to put times next to your agenda. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. no, I think we are. Absolutely. And have a timekeeper and keep yeah. it. Yeah. Maybe. Um, good. No, I tried then tonight. I, think we're I filled. thought I did pretty good. You're doing great. We did. We're doing pretty well. We're doing okay. well. Um, okay. Then I think we're done. I think we've got our agenda. Okay, so then annual meeting for an hour and then. And then, and then um, two to three the calendar? Yeah. And uh, how about, may I suggest we leave the last half hour open? Yeah. Just if we want to return to some subject. Okay. So calendar, half an hour open. Yeah, because yeah, calendar is okay. only going to take, I think, an unorganized thing of calendar for discipline, half hour. And then just a half hour of whatever. Yep. And then mm -hmm. at three, Review. we're closing remarks. Closing yeah, remarks. <laughs> In <laughs> regards to the aforementioned. Okay, and then at three is the meeting. August regular meeting. Right. Gotcha. Good. That sounds okay. good. I think Check. that's great. I think we should get that out to okay, other so members. Okay, so. Yes. Yeah. Correct. August 6th is canceled. The meeting will now be on August 2nd. I think a lot of people vacation will appreciate that. All our fans who come and to our meetings. Um, we will get the the agenda out once we have determined the location. Yes. Because we need to have the location. Yep. The agenda. Now. Do you have a grill? Um, at your house? I have a grill. Yeah, Is good. the agenda um, something yeah. that like um, Jenny. Jenny's just gonna put together, or one of we're gonna put together? It's not something we're gonna have Christy put together, right? I'd like you to feed Christy whatever okay. you want. Have have Christy actually put it together with we'll just give her the information. Okay. But I do think we should send it out to Carl and to Megan as soon as, and to Bonnie as soon as possible. Just so they as can have tentative. the input. As yeah, as a tentative. tentative. Okay. And then that way it can be we really too much time there, you know, I I, I be Carl and Bonnie both and Megan Ball may have. Okay, I'll tell, so maybe when, uh, I'll have Jenny, I'll ask her to put this almost like as a separate email with the minutes. Mm -hmm. Please review this. And mm -hmm. Okay. This and then, yeah, and then we good. should make it clear in the minutes that this is the, a tentative agenda. Yes, okay. This is a tentative agenda for our retreat. I'm very glad we're doing this. Okay. Program. I'm so happy you're the winner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this okay. is my stuff. I like the big, big vision stuff. Right. Great. Um, the now, do you second want me to present? I'm so sorry. Do you want me to do a little thing at, at the meeting? Okay. At the yes. meeting. At okay. the proper meeting okay. from three to four. The literacy. Because I'm going to start something that's going to uh, take I longer. For you. I have a friend of mine who's a longtime principal. Anyway, I'll talk to you about it afterwards. Okay. The idea of. Phonetics and phonemics? No, what's the other thing? Phonemes. Pho it's the idea of sounds. Phonemes. Yeah. She was like, that that's the Phonemic thing that comes. Awareness. Yes. That's the thing that comes before phonetics. Yes, absolutely. And it was so great to talk to her. I wanted. Yeah. Phonemic she's awareness. Such a, she's been an elementary principal for. It should be explicit. Like Bonnie, taught, like yeah. 30, well actually, anyway, yeah. She said it was really great. She You'll see it. I, when, when I do, I'm going to do a little piece of of a probably a two-hour, well, I can't get talking. It's probably a two-and-a-half-hour presentation all total, but mm -hmm. I will be doing 15 minutes at a great. time or whatever so that we get through the whole thing. I would love to do some of this stuff. 
that's possible. Is it, is it just something because you... Well, I'll be teaching, teaching this summer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean I Oh, I'm teaching up. kids. Oh, okay. oh no. Uh -huh. No, I was just saying I, I, I would love to do some of it for We're going to see what they do. Okay, cool. That maybe they haven't before. Cool. <laughs> Good. Right. Let's keep Great. going. Okay, so E2 was... Media, uh, we're going to change the directions for reorganization. Oh, no, you can do that without a quorum. Oh, you're you? right. We have, can't do anything. We can't without do anything. Quorum. Meeting adjourned. Yep, meeting adjourned. Basically. Oh, wow. I just wanted to make <laughs> comments. No, we can make comments. We can do other so comments, but we can't. I passed out. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, before you take action. I passed out the calendar, yes. and this was something that we labored with, where the professional development days were going to be where the vacations were going to be, talking to Randolph. We had to be in cooperation with Randolph with this. The vocational center that we are designated um, are the ones that set those dates. Right. This took a long time because the professional development days, we negotiated days and where they were going to be and, and, uh, and everything. But there's also a rule um, that we only can have one calendar, and anything else would have to be an appeal and for a waiver. From the state? To who? To the state, basically. Wow. We have one calendar per SU, and in other words, it's, it used to be that Rochester could set Rochester's calendar. Mm -hmm. It's not like that anymore. And no. so immediately after this came out, uh, one of my districts asked for a waiver because they wanted to do their own thing. And we're waiting for them to hear. I've asked for waivers for districts for the last three years, and nothing's been approved. Um, I don't expect this will be approved, but they wanted me to do it, and I did it. And uh, they didn't like when the vacations were because some of their kids don't go to Randolph, and they thought they ought to be able to be more linked to Hartford. Um, I'm not. I'm not mentioning who it is because I don't want it. Uh, right. out there. It's not necessary that it's out there. But so I, I'm not, I might have missed, you said that our SU's designated tech center is Randolph. Correct. That's and we have so to, And yeah. we have to follow their their calendar. Yeah. Uh, not with everything, not with every professional development day or things like that. But vacations. But with vacations and uh, starting date, end date, it has to be pretty close. So, um, right, okay. so I'm giving this to you. Us. I don't want you to approve it. I'm not going to ask you to do it, but I, I do want it out there, and I do want you to understand how it's different now than it used to be. How uh, how is it different? It, you it used to be able to set oh, your I own see. calendars. Gotcha. Oh yeah. Uh, but well, so a, this is the first one. No, the last to? couple of years it's okay. been like this as we've been. What is the Christmas vacation that they? Pardon? I mean, what could be? I don't understand. Um, well, uh, April vacation, April May, vacation and February vacation were uh, a week earlier or a week later okay. or I got it. whatever. I actually uh, went to the Randolph folks and I asked them to change one of them. I can't remember which one because most of we got consensus here that we wanted it to be in a certain week. And what the principals usually do is they look at the the February vacation and the April vacation, then they try to judge the amount of time between them as instructional time so that it's not too short to be able to just get started and then we get another week off. So they try to make it so that it's uh, a number of weeks in between and you can get some good teaching time in, in that time. Usually September and October are really good teaching time. That's really setting routines and getting kids in the swing of things. Mm -hmm. um, but to have time without a lot of interruptions is really what we try to do. Uh, mm -hmm. So I just, I'm giving you this. I want you to have it. So I can I just ask a question? Um, oh, no, that's good. Okay. Uh, is it happening mm -hmm. again? I Just the thing about the town end of the February. Day? No, the February. Yeah, the town meeting It's day. on there. Okay, so, but why does, is that the second of no, March? No, that's the third. So the m third is actually, there yeah, is. See it says Only in Rochester as Dr. School stuff. and the rest of them use their buildings as polling places okay. and you don't. This you was know? a compromise so between right, the two and so of that's us. That's why we so have the earlier projected last day of schools because we Correct. have Correct. Okay, that when, one day. When is everybody else's projected last day? The 11th. One day, one day more. One day more. But who, who knows what snow days are going to be. Because you have it. Right, right. Okay. You know, so I had to put the five day. days in there 
yeah. even though we, if we don't have them, we don't have them. We had four days this year. You had. I think it's better to think that it's going to be later, and then when you get out earlier, mm -hmm. it's. Hopefully, we won't have a generator day, or a lack of generator right. day <laughs> <laughs> next year. So. Great. Good. Anyway, there Thank it is. You. There Thank it you is. The it it was well. really a lot of work. Thank yeah, you. I'm telling you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Trying to get everybody around the table yeah. green. Uh, so, remember those meetings? I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So, so sausage making is what it was. Sausage. Literally, where are sausage we right making. now? Can we take public that. comment now? That sure. We, yeah. Okay. I think that's all we can do. I, uh, that's what I'm saying. We have to table. And we can't even. Three we can't actually eight even. Can't act on it. Well, we've actually. Did we schedule the meeting before she left? Yes. I don't. We yes. didn't actually vote on it though. To cancel the meeting and change the meeting, did we? we I don't think we actually voted on to to. Uh, okay, so we call her up. Get her on yeah. the phone. Yeah. Tell her we need to. <laughs> we just <laughs> need to <laughs> set because otherwise we haven't officially set the okay. meeting as August second. Good. Okay. I'm glad we've got you. Yeah. You're good. Do you have her phone number? Uh, Do you have service. No. Okay. I don't have service, but I have her phone number. Do we have a phone okay. here? That oh, which actually reminds me, I wanted to, to everybody to look at this and update their information to make sure it's correct. I would like that. So I, I definitely want to update it and yeah. then send it back around. Good for you. Um, and I do think we should have like, um, yeah, please contact on this line. But mm -hmm. if it's an emergency, go ahead and contact through this <laughs> med way. Oh, well, that's a good sign. Yeah, that's not her. <laughs> it, well, she should be. Um, Oh, you do this foot. Uh, yeah, yeah. You got a bad infection. Oh. Uh, Bruce got an infection in his foot. Oh. He's in the hospital in South Carolina and here. Oh, you're yeah. kidding. Yeah. Hello. Please leave a message after the tone. Jenny, it's Lindy. Can you call me back on my cell phone oh, so we can make a motion? <laughs> make a motion. Thanks. I mean, we, I believe we could try calling Carl and see if he's on his phone, but <coughs> what do you think of that? Hmm. I mean, because otherwise, yikes. Well, meanwhile, why don't we, can we get the public comment from yeah. Mason? Do you have something more to say? Oh, yeah. Information about... <laughs> oh, goody. Oh, goody. <laughs> uh, um, so we might interrupt you. Let's uh, let's try these yeah. calls for a sec first, and then because we have your Appreciate undivided. It. Oh, Appreciate it. hi Jenny. Hi. hi. <laughs> Sorry. Jenny, well we. No, it's okay. Anyway, I'll let you. Okay, so um, we need to um, we need to entertain a motion to schedule the annual retreat for August second second at Friday. nine. A.M. Mm -hmm. um, the location to be de announced and to move the regular scheduled August 6th meeting to August 2nd at 3 o'clock at location to be announced. And we need you present to actually vote so we have a quorum. Yeah, I just realized that, yeah. <laughs> Good for you. Uh, so is I entertain the motion. So moved. Second. Second. Any seconds? All in favor? Oh, any discussion? Aye. Uh, oh, no question. <laughs> 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, so move. Or, or okay. Pass. So move. So Pass. Move. Okay. Thank you. So thank, thank you, Jenny. <laughs> yep. Go no home. problem. <laughs> good. That's good. Okay. That's good. We got that done. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Lindy. You're welcome. Okay, oh. now you have our undivided attention because we can't do anything comments. else. Yeah, public comment. Um, just observing the meeting, there was one area where you were talking about the, the treasurer and the town clerk connection there. And as I understand right now, um, the minutes, the only uh, location that they're kept is at the SU, is that correct? The file of the records of the minutes? Is that different than where they're posted, you mean? They're just they're where on they're the kept. website, too. Yeah, they're on the website. Which website? 
the WRVSU. So work. what I'd like to suggest, just to talk, you know, is about the mission statement and everything else, is that between Stockbridge and, and uh, Rochester with an older crowd of voters and so on, maybe it's okay to have the minutes in a book in each town. I well, they are really posted out. No, I'm talking about, but I'm in a book, about that's a draft. historical. The historical like minutes. minutes after they've been approved. Correct. That are sitting in a three-ring binder at both town offices. Or are they kept now? Well, at the yes, yes, yes. Okay. And, and on the website, which yes. is... But the website is, uh, at this stage of the game, we're still dealing with paper for official records. When, it, you know, no, when the electronic. internet goes out, oh. But anyhow, it's just a good suggestion. suggestion. Thank it's you. It's a suggestion mm -hmm. to talk about. I mean, the, the you know, it's easier for a lot of uh, townspeople to go to the town clerk's office. They're more familiar with it than the SU. Mm -hmm. They're more familiar with it. And if it's just a binder, it's not that the town clerk has to do a lot. Just here's the binder. Okay. You know, okay. it's Thank something you. to think about. Okay, I'll be kind of quick because I know we all want to go home. Um, I want to share this article and maybe it can be shared among you bet uh, between now and the, uh, the retreat. This is about Sterling College's anticipation of the future of education. And whoever takes this, maybe you can share it with the others. I'll make copies and yes. I'll scan it. Um, the critical mission. And as a taxpayer for me, as I've spoken at the last meeting, I feel there's a lot of need to bring this issue of climate change into the mission. And I, even here mm -hmm. in the school, we have the Earth flag up here. And I just hope that, you know, what we're doing isn't just lip service to our kids, mm -hmm. you know, that we're being very serious about this. And uh, higher education is looking at this very seriously now. My next one is that, uh, um, since last meeting, I had the opportunity, I was driving by Rochester and our maintenance, one of our maintenance uh, individuals, I'm not sure his name, was out weed whacking with a fossil fuel weed whacker, uh, basically where the, uh, Bonnie was suggesting we can't put the sign. <laughs> so I pulled over and I said, hey, how's it going? And so, you know, you do have an electric weed whacker. I have no idea, nobody ever told me. There's a real disconnect between what our policies are, because we went around and around and around, it's called the amnesia of this program, is that it was finalized, it was purchased, it was to be part of the program of the maintenance. The tool is most likely walked off. I have no idea. You know, I mean, so how does, do, how do I have faith after someone who has been on a school board a long time ago and witnessed all these things, and now it's just amnesia, you know? So in this whole conversation of climate change, how do we follow through? Uh, Lindsay, I, Lindsay I, 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 I give you that information mm -hmm. on electric lawnmower. You know, for, for, for a taxpayer looking at kids, all out there all summer with fossil fuel lawnmower, pushing them around. Well, on the school property, this is where those young kids are going to be educated about tools. Mm -hmm. And they're going to probably have a lawnmower before they have a car. <laughs> well, they'll probably drive it before they have a car again. <laughs> you know, so there's a lot of education there that we can be doing. It's just, and it is critical. Um, so this disconnect of what happened to our old tools or even our staff, the kitchen staff, the maintenance staff, being educated of your desires or the community's desires or where we want to go with this. Mm -hmm. and, and because back then when this particular trimmer got purchased, I think before it was all over, the big head maintenance person wound up leaving or being, I don't know what happened, fired or whatever happened. But, you know, it was like, who runs the show? The public or the staff? Mm -hmm. You know? So, anyhow, I, I think. Thank you. I think that's worth.
worth more of a discussion amongst well, us to well, figure out what is, is that, what part of our vision, what, is part, that? Of, I think what part of our mission, I mean, where does that I, just, mm -hmm. I scanned this and that's exactly what they're, they're, they're saying that it is, it should be part of the central vision of education. That came out after I had actually talked last time mm -hmm. about this whole thing about Yeah, no, no, I, this is a very good, we're doing. this is a very clear model of how we could invest this in into with our students and how we educate them. That it's yeah, not just paying well, lectures. Thank, yes, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, well note to Bonnie, check and find out where that tool is. <laughs> well, it's, it's part of the policy. You know, yeah. it wasn't the tool. It was the desire to make these things happen. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd like to know yeah. where the tool is. Well, <laughs> not that we're ever going to find time. out, but why don't we check? Yes, great. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. But also, oh, I, I, I mentioned the top. If we do contracts with outside people to do things, we do as a public have the dis we can say, well, these are the kind of tools we want you to use to do the job. Mm -hmm. And then you take a letter from the board to a bank and then you go get the tools. You know, I mean, right. this is how change happens mm -hmm. from the bottom up. Oh, well, you're right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, is there any other business that you know, we can't even make a motion to adjourn, can we? <laughs> you can make it. I don't know whether it's official, but uh, Could we, we have to stay here Goodbye. forever. Yeah. <laughs> we have to stay here forever, uh -huh. just looking at each other. Uh, uh, you guys can all leave, but <laughs> we can't. Eight fifteen. Call her back. No, no, Come just kidding. We're gonna. Okay. We're gonna do it without a quorum. <laughs> okay. Make a motion to adjourn. I make Seconded. a motion to adjourn. Third. Seconded. Third. <laughs> all favor. All favor. Aye. Aye.